and I am standing in front of Lockheed Martin's Joint Light Tactical Vehicle offering. We're here at AUSA highlighting our what we hope to be winning design for the JLTV program. We're currently performing in the engineering, manufacturing, and development phase. We delivered 22 vehicles to the United States government about a year ago, and uh, we've completed our reliability testing, we've completed all of our blast testing, and we have completed our Army limited user test. Uh, we begin our Marine Corps limited user test here in a week or so, and then that phase of the program will complete. We're working feverishly on our proposal for the production phase of the program. We expect to receive the final RFP here later this year, uh, and we expect the government to make an award to one of the three competing designs sometime in the summer. We believe we have a terrific offering. We feature a very high level of protected mobility, very high degree of reliability and fuel efficiency, all of which are important to our soldiers, to our Marines, and to those who frankly pay the bills. The vehicle in front of me is actually a full working model. It is a Lockheed Martin asset, but it is very similar to the vehicles that we delivered to the government. The vehicle in front of me is the four seat variant. It's called the general purpose variant. It forms the basis for a couple of other models, the heavy gun carrier and the closed combat weapons carrier. Additionally, there is a two-seat model uh, that was delivered to the government, the utility variant. Currently in the family of vehicles, they are all enclosed variants. There are just four. Um, the heavy guns carrier, the closed combat weapons carrier, which are versions of the general purpose, and then the two-seat utility variant. Over time, we would expect that there may be other variants that come into place things such as an ambulance module um, and others. But today there are just the four. We believe that there will be very significant international interest in JLTV once it's been awarded. Um, the U.S. government has a number of memorandums of understanding with different nations already in place. Um, once the government, our government has actually made an award, we do expect there to be substantial international interest and sales.